Welcome to the time lapse of my Weiss bodice. First things first, I'm cutting off my mock. I'm cutting out my mock pattern with my pattern pieces. Once the mock is cut out, I'm going to go ahead and sew it together using my machine's longest stitch. So it's going to be easier to seam rip it apart later and use this mock up for pattern pieces. As I finish sewing the mock, I'm going to go ahead and iron open all the seams and add notches where the fabric is going to be needed to bend easier. Once this is done, I try on my bodice and mark where I need to make alterations. I didn't really record making the alterations, but they're done. Afterwards, I go ahead and I seam rip my entire mock up so that I can later use this as a pattern for the finished bodice. Continuing on to the finished bodice, I used these cut pieces as my final pattern pieces as set before. What I did was I pinned them all down to the side and made sure to cut out two pieces of each. After I was finished cutting these pieces out, I pinned all those corresponding pieces together. Once my bodice was completely pinned, I then took time to sew together all the seams. For sewing it all together, I made sure to iron open all my seams. Then, because I'm adding boning to this piece, I cut the bias tape out to match the size of my previously cut steel boning to create the boning channels. Then, I finished the section off by sewing them down. Now, I didn't actually record my cutting of the boning because it was my first time and I definitely broke some safety rules. After doing that, it was time for the worst part of this haul tutorial, sliding in all those boning pieces into the required channels. This sucked and it honestly made me rethink my decision to do boning. Afterwards, I finished this entire section off by sewing the channel shut. Now that the main portion of the boss is done, I started patterning out the scalp make piece. For this pattern, I used the side of a spool of thread, marked it on the fabric, and then cut it out. After I'm happy with the design, I transferred it to two layers of black broadcloth, marking the scalps on the pieces, and then slowly sewing those pieces together. Then top stitched all the layers of the boss together. This was fun because it turned out that red bias tape I used as boning channels before showed through the white sand. So I had to go through and add two layers of stretch poly to cover the red tape. Final thing was adding in the zipper. I sewed the boss together with a basting stitch, pinned the zipper onto the open seam, and then sewed both sides of the zipper down. Finally, I seam ripped the boss apart to have a functioning zipper. Also, I totally forgot to record me adding in the black piece, but basically, I pinned it to the middle and then sewed it down on top of my top stitching so it won't be that noticeable. Moving on to the skirt, I cut it out from the same white sand as my bodice with the previous circle skirt I made a while ago. Now we're going to move on to pictures of me dyeing the skirt because it was way too hard to record. So I started with an eye dye poly solution and then dipped my skirt in, but I actually ran into problems here because I improperly mixed my dye. So it led to a lot of dye into my skirt. To fix this, I simply re-dyed the skirt from my previous waist dress. So after fixing that skirt mishap, I proceeded to pin four yards of extremely expensive bridal lace to buy Joanne's around the bottom of the skirt. It was pricey, but no lossy and matched the costume. <laughs> okay, so here we begin the long, stupidly frustrating process of sewing around four yards of pearl encrusted lace down. It was super stress inducing and it took a while, but in the end it was worth it. While this lace was expensive, it's the closest I could get to the lace shown in the show without having to sit down and hand make four yards of lace. The lace attached to the skirt, I was finally able to finish the dress. I started by pinning the skirt to the previously made bodice and then I sewed it all together. This took a while because of how large the bodice was, I was sewing up to seven layers of fabric at one point. Here's some glamour shots of the finished dress. It was definitely a pain in the ass to make, but it's worth it. Thanks for watching everyone. This was a super fun process to record and voice over. Don't forget to subscribe for more cosplay and video game videos. I love all you guys.